So Dr. Cortez presented the data from Keynote 355. This is a randomized study of first-line chemotherapy with or without pembrolizumab for patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. Of course, last year we saw the uh, FDA approval of atezolizumab in combination with NAB paclitaxel specifically based on the Impassion 130 data. Here, three different chemotherapy backbones were um, allowed. Patients could receive either paclitaxel or NAB paclitaxel or the combination of gemcitabine with carboplatin. And uh, that was administered per treating physician's discretion. And the randomization was to receive pembrolizumab or placebo in addition to the physician's choice chemotherapy. They described an experience for 847 patients with a slightly higher uh, disease-free interval um, risk of six months, whereas Impassion 130 had been 12 months. They presented one of the co-primary endpoints. They had co-primary endpoints of progression-free survival and overall survival. And they presented progression-free survival of uh, 5.6 months versus 7.5 months for the intent to treat population. 5.6 versus 7.6 months for those with a combined positive score greater than or equal to one. So that was 75% of their population. And then an even larger improvement in progression-free survival of 9.7 months versus 5.6 months for patients with combined positive score greater than or equal to 10. The overall survival data was not reported, but this in my mind demonstrates compelling data in support of checkpoint blockade with a variety of chemotherapy backbones.